Hey there, Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our video. As always, appreciate when you watch what we do. Um, heading out to do a little bit of clearance. So, well, maybe not even buying, but at least spying to see what's on clearance in some places. One of the places I want to check out is Kohl's and also Walmart and then uh, even Meyer and Best Buy. But before we get into that video, love for you to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already done so. Also get that bell notification button below. That'll get you notified when we put up future videos. Love for you to hit the like button too. That helps us out immensely. Uh, by the way, thoughts and prayers going out to everybody on the East Coast and everybody that has been affected by what's called Snowmageddon and the bomb cyclone. Um, I know that uh, a lot of people were uh, displaced and actually a lot worse than that throughout that whole storm system. So thoughts and prayers to everybody there. We got down to a, a low of minus 11, I believe was the lowest we got with a wind chill of about 45 below zero. So uh, it got a little cold over the last week, but uh, things are starting to warm up now. So let's head over to Meyer and uh, we'll see what the kind of uh, um, clearance stuff that they have there and also Kohl's and, and Walmart. I actually thought that the uh, parking lot here at Kohl's would be a lot fuller a lot more people in the parking lot than there is actually in the parking lot right now because uh, it's the day after Christmas and the after Christmas clearance sales should be starting, but it's actually not busy at all here at Kohl's right now. At least it looks like anyway, from what I can see. Let's see what Walmart looks like when we get around the corner to Walmart. I bet you Walmart's packed. I've got to run up to Best Buy because uh, Today's also the biggest return day, or one of the biggest return days of the year as people take stuff back that they don't want. And uh, I've got to run up to Best Buy and take something back for, uh, for Peggy. I'm actually solo today because Peg's working. One of the things you always have to remember, pedestrians have the right of way, even when they don't have the right of way. Always stop for pedestrians. I, I learned that lesson a long, long time ago. So let's see what, oh my gosh, the parking lot at Walmart is packed. I kind of had the feeling it would be. Maybe you should have gone around the other way, but we'll go this way and see just how bad it looks. Yeah, I don't think I'm going into Walmart today, to be honest with you. The uh, parking lot here at Walmart is absolutely packed and people are looking for parking spaces. I'm actually gonna go through and head over to Best Buy and uh, take back the uh, $99 computer that Peg bought on Black Friday because she's actually got a much better one that she picked up on sale afterwards. It's a $99 computer, it's a starter computer for somebody, but uh, we really don't need it and might as well take it back and let somebody that does need a starter computer have a starter computer. So the parking lot at Walmart is absolutely packed. So Walmart's full. Walmart's got a lot of people in it. We're gonna find out just how bad Best Buy is with returns. Actually, Best Buy's parking lot doesn't look half bad at all. I wonder what the uh, clearance is in Best Buy. I don't know if they're gonna wait until after the first of the year to hit their clearance sales or if they're gonna hit them now, but the parking lot doesn't look half bad right now. So uh, we're gonna get parked and go on into Best Buy and take this computer back and then go from there. Well, I was going to uh, film some stuff inside of Best Buy that was on clearance, but they don't have anything on clearance yet anyway, so we're going to head over to Meyer and see what Meyer has got on clearance. So, hold on. I did notice that gas dropped to uh, 275 a gallon here, lowest it's been in oh, years, a couple of years anyway. So uh, that's at least some good news as we head into the new year. Meyer parking lot's not bad. Um, I was expecting it to be a little bit worse than this, but it's not bad at all. I did not go into Walmart because Walmart was absolutely packed. Their parking lot was full. Um, and I figure I'll do Kohl's later with uh, with Peggy because uh, Kohl's is mainly clothes and things like that. And I don't feel like shopping for clothes today. So we're gonna do Kohl's later. I'll do that with Peg, but I wanna head into Meyer. I'll pick up some stuff at Meyer plus also check out a lot of the clearance that they may or may not have in here. So let's get parked and we'll head on into the store. One of the things that you'll know on clearance, obviously here at Meyer too, is clothing. They have a lot of clothing racks that say clearance on them. 
I have the feeling that Peg might want to come back here and look at some of the clothing too. I'm seeing clearance signs all over. Let's go find out what the holiday clearance is. They normally put those on the side here. There's some more clearance, 50% off clothing. And again, more 50%. Well, I don't know if these are 50% off, but more clothing on special. And here you go. This is what I've been looking for. All the Christmas stuff is 50% off. It's actually all picked over just a little bit already. I'm just trying to see if anything interesting. Now there's a gnome house down there. You have a lot of ornaments. With some garland up there. And Christmas lights, they have a lot of Christmas lights. A lot of Christmas lights are on special too, so if you need Christmas lights, so well, it's one of the things to look for. Excuse me. Thank you. And here's your Christmas clothing. Again, 50% off. A lot of this is kids stuff too. Well, there's some more lights. Some more lights are half off. You're gonna find a lot of lights and things. They do have a lot of Christmas lights here. And some more ornaments there. More clothing. Again, all the Christmas stuff looks like it's 50% off. These are kind of cool. These are wrapping boxes. Again, 50% off. Actually, this is something that is stock. Oh, there. What do you think, honey? That is 50% off of $8.99, so that'll make it. 450 so I think I'm buying that actually <laughs> that is so cute and again more boxes 50% off if you don't like wrapping then you can box they have gift boxes they have money holders gift card holders again 50% off there's some candy 30% off the candy unfortunately so it's 50% off maybe I take a look at it these are all 50, or I'm sorry, these are all 30% off. Yeah, all the candy is 30% off. So just something to look at. This is kind of what I was looking for, because they do this every year, back in the back corner in the seasonal. Christmas trees, $99 off for Christmas trees. Smaller ones, $49 or $29, depending. These are fake trees. These are artificials that you can buy now and use them next year. They have more gift boxes back here. They have totes, 25% uh, off totes, which is a good price on totes. There's more garland, 50% off. And of course, wrapping paper. They have a lot of wrapping paper at 50% off. And then all your holiday knickknackery. <laughs> I know a couple of my family that would fall in love with that one right there. They love gnomes. Tinsel. More greenery. Again, all of this is 50%. Well, I, sh I should say 90% of it is 50% off because the totes are 25% off. So you can't get the totes for 50% off, but the totes are 25% off. 
more decorations, wreaths and garland, again, 50% off. I'm figuring that by, today is Monday, I'm figuring by Saturday, most of this will be picked over. No, that's an inflatable. But again, clearance priced, $22.49 and 50% off of that, so it's 11 bucks. More ornaments. They do have a really good selection here of, of knickknackery and leftovers. So come check it out. One of the things I'm going to keep an eye on over the next week or so is whether toys go on clearance. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to wander back here because I see, uh, I don't know if these are clearance or sale signs, but all the games on the back wall, I think they're buy, buy one, get one half off, which is uh, actually a really good price for games. I think we took advantage of that last year. So all the games, buy one, get one half off. Games like Risk, Monopoly, Chess Checkers, Tic-Tac-Toe, Battleship, he sunk my battleship. So that's another thing that you can check out. They've got more here. Oh, I'm, I grew up on Operation. That was a great game. My kids have a giant Jenga set that stands five foot tall. When it crashes, it's loud. So yeah, games. Buy one. Get one half off. As I mentioned, I'm just waiting for toys, actual toys to go on sale, because I have the feeling that they will. As I get rid of excess inventory. Pikachu, I see you. Pikachu, I choose you. And it's actually on sale. Corbel Champagne, down from uh, $19.99 to $11.69. So. Keep in mind, you got to be 21 to buy champagne. And lest we forget the party favors, the hats, the blowers, the so on and so forth. They have individual, they have sets. So get ready for New Year's Eve. Hope 2023 is a lot better than 2022 thought of being. They've also changed the way they do the registers here. They've got self checkout now. Um, they've reduced the number of actual registers and they've got self checkout. You can choose that either way, either self checkout or registers. I'm not going to get into the uh, Whichever one you should use. I'm going to use the self-checkout. Well, let's head on into Kroger. See if I can get bananas, which is what I want. They still have Coke, by the way. Coke products, Pepti products, 7-Up products. I just noticed still as I was walking in, they're still um, 4 for $13.88. Oh, bananas are in much better shape here than they were at Meyer. Much better shape. Knowing that we're going to come back on Wednesday to check out digital deals, I don't want to get too many of them. So I got my bananas. And I think Peg wants to get some uh, Italian bread too. They have really, really good Italian bread here to make sandwiches with. And it's two for four. It's a French-Italian combination bread, and it's really, really good and soft.
day after Christmas, meat department is closed. So that's all shut down. See if I can find the clearance aisle because I want to see what they've got on clearance. We've already gone through all the specials in our last video from Kroger of what they've got on special through, uh, well, tomorrow anyway. New deals come on Wednesday with the digital deals. But with Christmas over with, they... <laughs> I knew I came late. Yeah, they're, they're pretty picked over already. Eh, it's what it is. Seventy percent off. Most all of it's gone. Well, they still have some wrapping paper and some stuff left. Not a lot, though. They have some toys over there. Candy's like fifty percent off. Whereas I think at Meyer it was yeah Meyer was twenty five percent off or thirty percent off at Meyer, but fifty percent off here. So they do have some deals. I'm going to wrap things up here at Kroger, um, bought bananas, uh, bought the uh, sweet Italian uh, French bread, and not much else, and highlighted some of the things that are on uh, clearance here at Kroger, the holiday stuff that's on clearance. Kind of been all over town in this video, went to Meyer, went to Best Buy, drove by the parking lots of uh, Kohl's and, uh, and Walmart, and uh, realistically the best clearance deal so far that I found, well I didn't go into Walmart because the parking lot was packed. Uh, but Meyer had a, a huge selection of clearance items that I guarantee will probably be gone. Uh, thanks for watching it, though. Do appreciate you checking it out. As always, if you've not hit that subscribe button below, love for you to do so now. Also, get that bell notification button below because that'll get you notified when we put up future videos. And I'd love for you to hit the like button too. That'll help us out immensely. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Have yourself a magical day.